everyone, welcome to Love in Life. My name is Victoria, this is my wife, Regina. And today, welcome to Cooking with Victoria and Regina to our Hawaiian kitchen. We are here in Hawaii, Kalua Kona, Big Island, yay! And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we decided, I, yeah, to we make. decided to make. She decided to make, and I'm, you know, the best sous, sous chef, chef she ever. has. And as you know, it's cooking with Victoria and Regina. And, and so Regina the main cook is Victoria. Just to make a point. <laughs> So we're cooking today on a fish. Ooh. This is a local on a fish that we just bought in um, farmer's market farmer's this morning. Market this morning. <laughs> so we're going to cook this one in Thai basil, garlic, and balimbi. Balimbi. Balimbi, it's cucumber-like, very sour vegetable that can be go to the sauce and uh, add acidity instead of le lemon or lime. But you can use lemon or lime easily. Yeah, maybe one. it looks a little bit like you, but honestly, it's really, really, it's really, sour. really sour. But actually, me and Ariel, we enjoy the sourness of it. And I'm going to you uh, to make as a side Asian uh, eggplants. And how cute are those? They're so little. We've so never little. seen such a cute. Little, little eggplants. eggplants. So eggplants with balimbi as well. Fresh ginger. Now we bought the ginger, and I have never, never, never soaked such a fresh ginger ever in my life. It's I can squeeze and uh, squeeze, and it will the juice come out. Juice come out. And again with basil and uh, lime kefir lime leaf. So yeah, this is going to be a very interesting dish. And I will go there and I will explain you on the way. And yeah, let us know if you like the idea. It's not going to be permanent on this channel, probably. No. But we're going to make a couple of those probably while we're here. So yeah. And I'm going to film a little bit there that you will see what I'm doing on the other side. I will go, I will walk you through regardless. Oh, you're leaving me? Alone? Yeah. No. I'm not <laughs> with you. <laughs> By the way, I preheated oven to 400 Fahrenheit for the fish. I think we can move a little you bit. You can move the frame. camera a little bit so we can uh, see you better. You explain what you are doing though. So, as per uh, famous chef instructions, I've been instructed to salt it. Then I need to pour the olive oil. Let's see if I remember. And then I cut it to three. And then I'm going to stuff in, in, the, in the middle um, the basil leaves, garlic, and that's, that's it. it. And believe me, it will go on the sides of the dish. A little bit of olive oil I'm, I'm uh, adding to the pan. I think I'll here. Sell salt a bit in between here as well. Mm. That is my camera. I forgot my camera. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. It's hard to film with a couple of cameras, you know. And the light goes on. Yeah, and there's not too much, too much salt going in. It's actually very... I put it on the finest grind, so just a little bit uh, salt comes out every time. How much olive oil, sweetie? A little bit, Regina. Just not a too, sprinkle? Yeah, just a bit of sprinkle in between. Do I need to rub it? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. Do, do as you feel. You know how to cook, honey. She knows how to cook. She just gets a little bit insecure when I'm around, but yeah. Rather than yeah, that. wouldn't you be insecure with her in the kitchen? <laughs> what if I put lots of olive oil? I'm good with lots of olive oil. Mm, it's beautiful. Yeah, put a little bit of black pepper, I think. Here. I have one hand that is functional, so. Oh, I can do it with my okay. one clean hand. So, yeah, and here I'm. How about you? I'm almost done. So, how about you just take this camera and just, uh, no, I'm just good. move I'm it good. over? I'm good. I want, I want it to be our show to do. No, but I'm pretty much so, done. yeah, here, what I'm doing actually, I'm adding garlic first. You see? Uh, yeah, it's jumping on me, but yeah, you don't need to jump on me. And ginger. And garlic goes in. And balindi. Smells so good already here. 
So how do you want me to put the whole uh, thingy? Do well, you want me to put like whole? No, the leaves. Just, no, just the like leaves. lots of leaves. Yeah. All of them. Do you want all of those leaves? Uh, not all of them, but most of them, I would say. Yeah. So this is how it's done. Now I'm going to put kefir lime leaf. I'm, as you see here, I'm going to cut it like so. You see, I'm cutting it like so. Kefir lime goes in, and I'm going to add the leaves of the. Basil. You see? So yeah, basil leaves go in. I love a lot of basil leaves. And yeah, there's a garbage can in it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> mm. I know, we got a couple of comments that we are... Uh, that we're littering. littering. So it's kind of so, funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's because we don't want garbage in the frame. Doesn't mean we're littering. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera here, because I'm holding the camera with one hand. I have another kefir lime leaf here. Mm, it smells so good here. Oh, this fish looks awesome. I like the meatiness of the fish. The fish is one of the meatiest, uh, more meatiest. I don't fish. eat so much. No, you don't. I just put it. But you can never have too much garlic according to our to family. Victoria. I don't know. It's our family. And uh, our family. We all love garlic. So yeah, for those ones, I'm going to cut them and cut them lengthwise, Aww, like so. Beautiful. They're beautiful here. Ooh! And maybe the Whoops! Lime. <laughs> <laughs> Let Never show. mind. Mild crash. <laughs> there you go. You're hilarious. Well. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, yeah. Too funny. I'm like, the truth? Olive oil started pouring, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> and then the fish. And Luckily, the fish there is a big counter in here. Oh, which we yeah. totally love in this place. Huge counter. Didn't hit the floor. How awesome is that? <laughs> very, very cooking with us. Very much cooking with us. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you have to put the fish uh, skin up so it will be nice and crispy. Yeah. And put salt, pepper, uh, like wash your hands, put salt, pepper, and olive oil on top of the skin. And that's it to the oven. Sounds like a plan. How the smells are here? Mm. Nice. Here. Yeah, I'm not sure about this camera. I will try to fix or decide what I'm doing here. So yeah, this is how it looks. This is what I'm doing with the, now. This is the stage. And you see here how I cut, pre-cut my uh, eggplants. They're so beautiful. This fish, uh, honestly, why I rub it so much? It has an awesome energy. energy. I just want to pet that fish. Yeah. <laughs> Flip it to 400 Fahrenheit for about 20 25 minutes, I think, because it's pretty big. It's more than a pound uh, piece. So, I hope it's not olive oil on my shirt. Huh? Uh, yeah. I know it's awkward, so sorry for this one, but it's our first uh, cooking show together. But it's very real one. Yeah, the Hawaiian outfit. It's, yeah, it's nice and hot. Now the eggplant goes in. How did you open it? Can you open it? There we go. And so it's good. so it goes go on there. Do you want me to bring this camera now? No, it's good. Put pop it to the oven, your fish. Oh, okay. This needs to cook. Right. Good point. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Yeah. Or, where are the leads of this? Yeah, in the in the middle. So the bottom one. The bottom one, yeah. The lid for this one. I'll give you. One. Yeah. Timer about 20 minutes. It should be the fish. Ah no, minutes. You know what? It's a new kitchen for me. I'm not sure how to take up how to cook and how to do it. So yeah, let this cook as well about until the uh, the eggplants are soft and uh, that's it basically. So very. Since they're so small, probably five seven minutes, I'm guessing. Yeah, I bet they're not more than five seven minutes. And see, in five seven minutes. Okay, why one thing that I forget to mention? Uh, wait, now, now it's what? One thing that I forget to mention is the chili flakes. Obviously, I need a little bit of spice here. It's not too much, good. not too much, not, not too, too much. much, not too much, and a little bit of water. Can you bring me water? Thank you, honey. Just to. That's it. That's it, and it smells so good. You can add coconut uh, milk if you want, if you want here, or coconut water. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's so hungry. Awesome. Hungry, hungry, hungry. So we'll see when it's all cooked, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, side dish is done. It's been seven minutes, six minutes, and it's green and it's beautiful. So we're going to put it on this beautiful platter. Mm. Looks awesome, smells even better. How the smell is at home? <laughs> She's behind the camera woman. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh leaves, obviously on top. You know how it goes. And we're just waiting another less than 10 minutes for the fish to arrive. Fish is coming, fish is coming, fish oh, yeah. is coming. Yum, 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 yum. Smells good. And as you see, they're green. I'm not sure you can uh, catch the color. The eggplants themselves are a little bit greenish. So, and they should be. Yeah, they are. I was like, what are you Do talking you see about? They're I totally green. see the greenish. The greenish tint. They have not. Uh, this is the. The greenish brown. So you don't so imagine there is brown, but there's definitely a mm. fair bit of greenish. Nope, don't want to put my hair in there. <laughs> so yay to this and now we're waiting for the fish. Okay, and the last step for last two minutes, I mean after 15 minutes of uh, two to three minutes, I want to put it under the broil broiler because I really want the skin crispy. The skin crispy. And it's done with a little bit more olive oil. I know it's a little bit a lot of uh, olive oil today, but it's okay. All good. I was excited. I was excited. And that's it. And for about two to three minutes, I'm going to pop it there until it's crispy and wonderful. Up. Show it up. It's good. No, the up will be too Show them the glove. This Are they the, so the cute? Most, the most perfect glove that I have ever uh, touched. I think we will need a little bit of lemons. Anyway, we have limes, aren't we? Somewhere? Yeah, I'll get limes, some. Limes? Lemons? Honey? <laughs> I don't remember what that is. I think are. we have... I'm not sure. They're all green, so... I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to get some lemon or lime. Mm. And we'll see you. Okay, yes. we have a baguette. French baguette. So she's going to, going to slice it. Slice it. And toast it. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, put it in the oven as well. Under a short broil, I guess, and we'll make them a little bit crispy. Slightly crispy. Yeah, no, don't over dry it because it will be like uh, too hard to eat. And chewable. Yeah, way too chewable, especially with the baguette. And I don't know if the knife is very sharp, but I guess it will do. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah, right. What are you doing, Sweet? Yes, good. 
I think this is 11. Yeah. I think it's too spicy. The eggplants. I'm sorry, honey. You know why? I didn't expect that the ginger will be so spicy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, honey. You put so much chili? In my opinion, it was a lot. Sorry. Oh, it's... I can't put the baguette. Yes, you can. In the bottom? Look at them. Yeah. Then it will be drier in the bottom, no? No, it's one because the heat is from up. If it's too spicy, it means most of the baguette is mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. It will be most of the baguette yours. Is it that spicy? I think so. You can try. Mm. I love it. Maybe I should try it in the bottom. Maybe. I'll try it in the bottom. Yeah, and we are going to make mukbang, I think, later today. Yeah, because well, no, we'll uh, mean we'll do the mukbang now. No, we'll film but it we'll now. Fill, we'll upload it later today, because well, we're in the Big Island and we do have internet, but we can't upload such a long videos. So otherwise, like it takes you forever minutes. to upload I hope it. the mukbang won't be so long. So yeah, so uh, we're trying to. If it's too long, we just uh, make two. Uh, like we'll make the cooking show and the mukbang separately. Separate. Upload them probably on the same day. Or maybe not. Maybe the day after day. Or maybe they have to do, I don't know, whatever. We whatever. didn't decide it yet. Yeah, we don't know, but we can't upload it in the same time because it's just way too much and it takes forever to upload it. Oh yeah. So I'll show you the fish. Mm -hmm. So make sure to watch for the mobile. I'll find out how spicy it is. Mm -hmm. I'll let it cool a little bit, let it cool a little bit, and if it's cool, hopefully it's not as spicy. You want me to take it out to me? I can. Now it's grease. It's getting greasy. Another one. Yum, 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 yum. And how's the baguette? It's not burned yet? No, it's not burned yet. We don't want it burned. Oh no. I found it burns like tch, and it's burned. What are you looking for, Shmi? I'm thinking what to add to this. No, but baguette should be nice. She always thinks what to add, what to add. What to add and Her mind is it. always working. What else should I add to this recipe? What else should I put in there? Okay. It's need to be see, interesting. See the creative and, uh, mind is bubbling inside. Creative and um see mine is not bubbling. Here it is bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble. <laughs> the steam. Oh, like here, here. <laughs> and the pink cheeks. Yes, the red heat. <laughs> it's hot here, but it's wonderful. It's not that hot. No. I think you got cooked a little bit. <laughs> oh baguette. Baguette. And the fish, I think, already almost done. What do you think about the fish? Is it crispy? It's perfect. I think you need to take the fish out already. What does it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's show you the beautiful fish. I think we need to put the... Oh, thank you. I'm going to... See the beautiful fish? I hope they can see yeah. it. it's so hot. Be careful. I know, maybe a second lot more. Uh, we're going to do Insta perfect. Not that I'm uploading now to Instagram because we don't have. <laughs> there you go. See? And from the side. Oh. There we go. And from this side. There we go. Let's transfer it. And let's take a professional picture. I want to transfer the fish. Oh. Alrighty. Don't touch it. I saw your mistake. I did countless of times this mistake. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, fine. Oh, 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 I'm prepared. You prepared? I'll do it. Okay. I'm good, I'm good. I'm prepared. Can you flip it? I want to see how it looks on the other side or not. It looks nice. Put in here. 
Which way? Uh, the flip, I think. Flip a little will be the more beautiful way. Yeah. You want balimbi? Yes, definitely put on top balimbi. On top. Yeah. This is how it goes. Ow. Mm. The balimbi are so sour and amazing. Again, you can use lime or lemon or um, any other sourish. Uh, I think this is a pretty perfect dinner plate. What do you think? Are you okay about it? Yeah, yeah. I touched it twice. Let's do, let's well. do. Picture perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks awesome. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy the idea. And uh, see us eating this and trying this uh, later in Mokbang. So yeah, let us know if you like the concept of uh, cooking with uh, Victoria and Regina yeah. together. It's, yeah. it's our first time, so be kind. It's a little bit unorganized and, you know, all over the place, but it's wonderful. And thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, and follow us on uh, our Hawaiian vacation extravaganza and uh, the links are in the description box below family daily fun it's very important because we're having so much fun so yeah follow along and um, let's eat this beauty yeah yeah watch for the mukbang and you know don't forget to subscribe write us a comment, comment and make sure to tell us what you think in a constructive and you know nice way <laughs> a lot of yeah. thumbs up us and cheers loving lines and we'll see you in the mukbang